in this second unit, we are looking at cooling and thawing. Cooling food. Cooked food that is to be stored cold must be cooled as quickly as possible to prevent any surviving bacteria or spores from growing to harmful levels. It is recommended that food is cooled for up to 90 minutes and then put into refrigeration. If it is not possible for food to be cooled within two hours, for example a large joint of meat can take a lot longer to cool, advice must be sought from the Department of Environmental Health regarding safe cooling procedures. You must cool food as quickly as possible, ideally within two hours. You must cover cooling food to protect from contamination. You must never place hot food in a refrigerator. To help food cool quickly, you can consider using a blast chiller, ice bath or cool running water. You can split food into smaller portions, use shallow trays for liquids or use a cooling rack or trivet. Thawing food. Thawing food can present a variety of problems from cross-contamination to undercooking. The liquid that drains off raw meat can contain high levels of bacteria which can contaminate ready-to-eat food if not treated carefully. Excess liquid must be discarded carefully, making sure any surfaces that it has come into contact with are cleaned and disinfected thoroughly. It is important to be aware of cross-contamination. Thaw small pieces of raw food in a container at the bottom of the refrigerator. If thawing poultry, check joints are flexible. Thaw large pieces in a cool room, maximum 15 degrees Celsius, in a covered container. Make sure food is defrosted all the way through and there are no ice crystals. Thaw meat on a rack or trivet so thawing liquid runs away from the meat. If using a microwave, make sure food is defrosted all the way through. Thawing can be done using clean, cold water. Once food is thawed, defrosted food must be treated as chilled food. Use defrosted food within 24 hours and never refreeze a food item unless it has been cooked first.